Aren't they beautiful? Be gentle. They're going to come out soon and they're going to be a pretty butterfly. Yeah, it's really up here. That's like Good morning and welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. You caught us early in early in the morning. I just gave Art a haircut. Last night, our first butterfly, we were outside having a campfire and there was, I don't remember if we filmed about the butterfly, no. but we lost our caterpillars. They were in this enclosure and they found a little hole right here and they all crawled out. And we had two on the outside, one on the dining room chair, and then we lost one. We couldn't find it anywhere. So the next day, <laughs> I was in the kitchen cooking and Lillian found it. It had crawled out of the cage, down the dining room table, across the kitchen. It was hanging on one of the knobs, uh, the door knobs on my kitchen island. So Art moved it to one of our upper cabinet knobs where we never use it. And so last night the kids, when we were outside having a fire, came in and said, it's out, it's out. So apparently it hatched at some point. I can help this with. is the one that's about to hatch. Really. Yeah, and these guys and are very close to the hatching. hatching. This, this guy just enclosed yesterday. And this one's bigger than the Yeah, those two are gonna go and this, that, this that guy's, is. he's gonna be another day or two. That one's gonna be another day or two. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fun to watch. There's a little caterpillar. Not caterpillar, butterfly. butterfly. It's a butterfly now. It's coming out. That is so cool. How long does it take for it to pump? Oh, he's coming out. Oh, he's coming out. Look at it. You want to see the buggy? Hey, it must be doing it the same way as the other Christmas. It looks like a caterpillar. Oh, wow. Look, it's fat. And look at it, um, whatever that is. The buggy? Uh-oh. Do the wings. Look, look, look how, what? Look, look how small they are. And look how they are Look at this blood bag. It's <laughs> wow. so big. Cool. It's a thorax. Look at this thorax. But remember, it's going to take its big thorax and pump its juice into uh -huh. wings. Sorry, uh -huh. Lily. Hannah wants this. Wait, it's... Oh, oh it is. So wow. It's tiny. tiny. It's big. Oh, wow. It's tiny. It looks like this one's... What time is it? Oh, wow. Did I get it? Dad, I was quick. I guess... Well, I wasn't quick. I guess it was at 7. I guess it would come out at 10 o'clock. I, I said the round breakfast. Well, I was way off. I said 4.13. <laughs> I said the round breakfast. I said... Well, maybe your other one will come out at 4.13. Alright, guys. Let's eat and we can watch it while we eat. That's cool. Chemicals to attract the female. Where? Black spot in the ring. This oh, down by the bottom. This is a glow. <laughs> and and oh, looks okay. like this is lighter than the girl. I see it has okay. a black spot. So let's see if there's a black the spot. Oh, but we have to wait till it opens I up the wing, so. Open first. We're supposed to get storms this afternoon, so I'm trying to hustle and get this laundry to dry. Uh, very cool app that I found in the app store. It's called Laundry Timer. I will put the link in the description below. Not sponsored. This uh, app allows you to tell how long it'll take for your laundry to dry. In fact, I'll show you guys how it works. So it's called Laundry Timer. I'll put the link down, down and below for you. It tells you what the weather conditions are and then approximately how long it'll take to dry. So I just put stuff out. Light fabrics will take 43 minutes, typical fabrics an hour and a half, and heavy fabrics three hours. That one probably won't be done in time, but I'll go ahead and start the timer and then this will just run um, and I can just check it and see how much time I have. This is Right here, look at this. It says 24% chance of light rain at 11 o'clock, rising to 27% chance at, one at 11 o'clock and then 1 o'clock. Remember to bring your laundry in if it necessary. Very cool app. 
I absolutely, I'm so happy I discovered it. I mean, who, who thinks that you need a laundry timer app? Obviously you could just walk outside. But when life is crazy for me, just running around doing things, it's nice to know, okay, hour and a half, I check the laundry in an hour and a half. It's just kind of a mental thing and it really does help. So I'll just forget about this. Most everything here is light fabric. So I'm not, I think it should be done in an hour and a half and hopefully it'll be dry before we get any rain. Hannah has decided she's had enough of it. Having you. Say hi. So anyway, she's on my back. Art just came home and had some really exciting news. Hey Art, what's our exciting news? The firehouse passed inspection. Yay! Yay! It only took a year. Hey! We worked hard for that. Just a little bit. I know it's been a while since we've given you a report on our property. How's the ceiling going? Uh, I got three of the panels up and then they ran out of nails and I forgot to take my money with me. So anyway. Okay. We'll do lunch and we'll do lunch and then we can go back. Go back. Um, if stir the water and then you can do it. I think our people probably want to see it though. We yeah, we'll, it. we'll have to we'll have to take them over there and you guys can see what this means is it is habitable. Yes. However, we still have work to do. We still need paint. We need to do some paint, painting, finish the ceiling. Things. I think everybody would agree that a door would be good on the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> the kids were watching some old Parsons and Parsimony episodes, and they're making bagels at the same time. Mm-hmm. We're going. We're going to try to let our. Which one are you doing? This one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Is go. it a boy or a girl? girl? We'll find out in a minute. Get into my hand here. I don't right. see any black there dots. Go. There we go. Let's see boy. if we can. Boy! Is it a boy or a girl? This one. Girl! Here's it's a girl! Them, yeah. It's a girl! Uh, I think it's oh, a boy. I think got, got black the... dots there. Yep, black so, dots. So. Another boy. Could I hold it? Well, let's go outside Is and then it... we'll hold it. I haven't been able to Okay, I don't know. Did we tell our viewers how you can tell if it's a boy or a girl? Oh, I think we did. It has the black dots right there. And the boys are okay. lighter. Open your Oh, here, wings. here, here. here. I see the black dots. Let them walk onto you. Can I hold it? Just a minute. Yep, it has the black dots. So, it's on um, me. It's half on me and half on Lillian. And monarchs are one of the few Daddy. insects that have four legs. <laughs> There are a handful of others, uh, passion vine butterfly, and a few other pretty butterflies have four legs. In case you want a little right down there. Can I hold it? Daniel, be patient. It will walk onto you if it wants to. Yes. Little sticky legs. Yeah, look at the sticky legs. Looks like it's trying to fly. Oh, so that's where the black is. Yeah, on the bottom. Be careful with your blanket, Daniel. Then put it on the flower. Then could I hold it? Let it just yes, live on the it. flower. It needs some nectar. I'm yes, sure it's hungry. Can I hold it? Okay, it's on. Is it on? Then it's on. It can't again. decide what it wants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those beautiful wings. Looks like it wants to fly soon. Huh? I just think those are all crumpled up in one little cocoon. Right. Do you see a Hannah? Wings. Yeah, Hannah's looking. Look, Hannah. Yeah, careful. See what it's like. Flew off of my hand. There it goes. Try to fly away. Just don't get hit by a car. It came back. Oh. It came. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look. It landed on the orange tree. I like the orange tree because it's orange. It's so Now it's under the vehicle. It's walking over to that side. Oh, we have to be careful. Oh, oh dear. Did we get it? Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, oh, he's probably just tired. Take to the back, I'm Daniel. I'm going to put him on a flower. Why don't you put him on some milkweed? Mm -hmm. Or echinacea. The echinacea flowers over here. Well, milkweed days are over. I doubt they, Dad, I doubt they would have an egg, or besides, that's a male and not a female. <laughs> there. 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 Bye bye, little butterfly. butterfly. Don't get eaten by anything. I hope it's that.
doesn't look very hungry. It's not sticking out his uh, tongue at all. He's hungry! Okay, we just came inside and, and the next one is coming out. out. I just came out. Yeah, That's well, while we're outside... It came out! It's pop a thing up its wings. And it's putting its... Oh, it's a... Morning. That just came out! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's gonna get ready to fly. Look at that. It's pumping its wings. He's getting ready to take off. Can I hold him in that? If you're really careful. Really careful. Can you get it? Not yet. There you go. And you might fly away on my hand. I hope he can eat the West Tree of Girls. Yeah, here he goes. Bye. 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 Bye, Daniel. Have a good time? Did, were you able to help Grandpa? Just go over there. Were you able to help Grandpa? Good. So I decided I'm going to actually try one of these jars of canned hamburger that I did. Well, when did I do it? In the winter, maybe? So we'll see. So anyways, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm making taco meat with it. I have my onions going. I have some lentils that I'm cooking up. They actually look like they need a little bit more water. So I've got lentils and onions and hamburger. And I just ground up some garlic powder. This got a little moist from, we've had so much rain this summer. It just, that lid did not hold the moisture out. So I took it and repowdered it with the mortar and pestle instead of throwing it out. And yeah, that's gonna be dinner tonight. Body, body, boy. I should have gone the other way. Wet, wet, wet. Pick a jalapeno pepper for the yum. Oh no, my cabbage split. I'll have to pick that. We got a bunch of rain today, and obviously, it took out the cabbage. Oops. Look, Charlotte has come to cook with me. Charlotte, you should know it's dangerous to be in my home. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte's right here. Charlotte should go out. Where? Charlotte does not. Like Charlotte. Where? Right uh, there. Say Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte looks more like Daddy Long. Legs. Charlotte should go outside. He did. Charlotte Mom, does not belong. Charlotte was little, then she turned into big one. Yeah, I don't think that's Charlotte. Okay, so this is all done. I ended, ended up putting salt, pepper, garlic powder, a jalapeno, an onion, one, ga one gallon, right, one quart of the canned hamburger along with approximately three cups of cooked lentils. And then I just, did I say chili powder and cumin? I think I said that. And a little bit of taco seasoning. It tastes fabulous. And we will just serve this 
in some tortilla yeah. shells with yeah. some lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers and all that good stuff. Got this this big cucumber. It's a little big for canning, so I think I'll just slice that up and we'll have that along with dinner too. So dinner was a success. The kids liked the canned hamburger. Didn't really say anything about it. And I had mixed that with the lentils, so I think that probably helped. Definitely will do it again. If I end up with a large quantity of it, it was a lifesaver for tonight because just the day got away from me and I didn't have a whole lot other than a bunch of fresh produce. So canned hamburger, lentils, I had lettuce, tomatoes, cukes. I never ate cukes for tonight. Didn't even see them on the table. Anyways, it got dinner done. The kids were fed, happy. I call that a successful meal. I'm gonna end tonight's vlog. But I'll see you tomorrow.